And people who are living in on the west side in an area that's got a lot of flood damage tonight are rushing to salvage anything they can before that extra rainfall arrives yet tonight. Indiana Governor Mike Pence joined volunteers today as they went door to door to assess the damage. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Mills is there tonight with a look at the impact on more than 30 Hoosier families. Mary? John, we're on Biltmore right off Washington where floodwaters yesterday were as high as this mailbox, leaving behind a big mess and a lot of frustration. The American Red Cross handed out water and cleaning supplies to residents dealing with the aftermath of Tuesday's flash flooding. You see this with the water is warm. The doors are all warm. You can't shut them now. Myrna Dugadillo had everything piled up. It was her second flood in 12 years. Uh, to me, I just lost everything because I don't have nowhere to live at. But I don't want to come back here. Like most others here, she doesn't have flood insurance, not after rates soared. I couldn't afford it no more. Like, tripled it. The neighborhood flooded after pounding rains overwhelmed the drainage system, which residents say is easily clogged. When we hear a warning, we start moving cars out and take the family out because we're scared about it. So. For now, residents were doing what they could to dry out. Uh, trying to clean up, it's, it's muddy, it's full of mud everywhere and mop the floors and get things picked up that we want to salvage. Yeah, that doesn't help. Late Wednesday afternoon, the governor stopped by to see the damage and talk to residents, saying it was too early to know whether any aid might be available. In the meantime, a local church was doing what it could to help. We've got cleaning supplies that we're providing for people, you know, to bag up some of the belongings that got destroyed. Uh, and in the midst of all that, you know, we try to provide lunch for them because we know that they need to eat, but they're busy working and kind of doing that. We're just here trying to offer hope, mainly. And right now, certainly residents cannot get enough of that, not after what they've gone through the last 24 hours. Live on the city's west side, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.